also like my fa- my favorite thing of the whole story, I think, was he, he, there was a photo of him that was circulating of him in a Britain oh, first this is T-shirt. A bit, this, oh yeah, yeah. This is the best, isn't it? Yeah. So he was, he's in a Britain first T-shirt. For anyone who isn't aware, a Britain first are a, 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 a far right racist group in the UK. They went no, 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 no. He's not wearing it because he's in Britain first, or he's he's into their beliefs. It just happened to be the most convenient <laughs> item of clothing for him to wear. Isn't because it was convenient. When have you ever had to wear a t-shirt because it was convenient? I know you're just like, ah, oh, no, I've just spilt soup down myself, and I've got the big photo <laughs> shoot. <laughs> What's to hand? Oh no, there's only this full SS Voffen uniform. I guess, as it's the most convenient thing. I'm sorry, officer. It was just this sheet was the most convenient thing to wear to this cross burning. <laughs> Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Hello, welcome to Dead Man Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, him a short little gimp, and him a big fat cunt. Oh, have you added to it now? I just added a little flavour. Yeah, yeah. A little flavour. I didn't want him feeling left yeah. out. Mix oh, it. Mix oh, thanks, it Rob. You're welcome, you thanks, tiny Mister. Wing gimp. <laughs> uh, do I get my own name in the intro? I feel so included. Wow, I've never had two friends before. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, imagine if you were my f- only friends. Well, yeah, imagine that is the world you live in. <laughs> this is as close as you're getting to friends. I, us. I think that Tom has got more friends than any of us. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because yeah, I, yeah, think... I know one other friend. <laughs> <laughs> he is also, like, the nicest of us. Yeah, he's a happy little <laughs> cheeky boy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then there's you, which is sort of like a gangly stupid dog a gangly stupid <laughs> dog is what he went for. yeah you are like, like a, a gangly stupid you're, dog you're like a little irish wolfhound that... i get you i've got that sort of energy yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and i'm i'm you're just a miserable boiled egg <laughs> yeah and i'm happy with that yeah. i've got i've just got on precisely easter. zero friends and i'm happy with that just you know when you're painting faces on eggs to roll down hills at easter if you just paint a big frown on yours yeah, him. <laughs> yeah. he's like humpty dumpty after he fell yeah his mind's a lot on a little mini egg. Yeah. <laughs> Just grinning. <laughs> wow, I'm a chocolate egg. <laughs> Gee, that wall was awfully high. <laughs> Tell me again about how Jesus came back from dead. <laughs> um, so here's so here's uh, something fun for you yeah. uh, to talk about. Um, so last night I did a preview of the tour that we are going to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, from this tone, it doesn't sound like it went well. I fucking died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tickets still available. Honest. <laughs> right, okay. So the people that were in to watch it that were Dead Men Talking fans, because, yeah. because I didn't publicise it because I don't want people coming to this instead of the tour. Sure. The few people that were in to watch it that were Dead Men Talking fans fucking loved it. Right. However, the people that didn't know what was going to happen was fu- I made an entire row of people leave because I did a joke about Shemima Begum. Uh-huh. I did, I, you told entire, me about this joke, yeah. An entire... Just like Shemima Begum, to be fair. <laughs> an entire row left at the same time. Mm-hmm. It was fucking brutal. How many people were in the room when you started? Um, About... 30. How many by the time you finished? About 15. <laughs> Full 50% rate. But, but it was a late, it was a late one. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure those people were really enjoying it. Probably was like, oh God, I'm, I'd love to stay here and listen to more rape jokes, <laughs> but I'm afraid I've got work in the morning. So, yeah, I yeah. they tried to get back in, but they're not allowed. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was fucking, bre- I don't think in 12 years of comedy, I don't think I've ever lost an audience as quickly as I did with that one joke. Uh-huh. Honest to God, it was fucking... I've seen you lose audiences by walking up. I've seen people just, like, look disgusted <laughs> as you arrive. I uh, but So here's the thing. is I looked at them and I was like, a lot of these aren't going to enjoy what it is that I'm selling, but I'm here to specifically do this. So, look, if it was like a pro night or something like that, you'd look at that crowd and I'd go, take it easier tonight, mm-hmm. and then, you know, maybe... Sure, you know, but you've got to roll out the material in. for the tour, isn't I've it? got to roll out the material for the tour. 
So uh, I did it and I kind of had them on board at the beginning and I was like, well, this is a pleasant surprise. Uh-huh. And then I launched into Shemima Begum stuff and it was, it was fucking nuclear. Mm-hmm. It was, it was room splitting in that it split the room from yeah, me and everyone else. Half of them is still there <laughs> and the other half split into leaving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was brutal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, th- three weeks till we start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your preparations are going well, mate. Three weeks. I was go. having great shows in Australia. My stuff's cooking. Uh, people were enjoying it. They yeah, were laughing. Yeah, but your stuff's a lot more palatable, isn't it? Than yours? Like, that's not like, it's not like I'm like fucking all bubblegum and lightness. <laughs> it's not like I'm Michael fucking McIntyre. It's just that you are fucking a pig. Michael, you are a swamp pig. Fucking Michael Lankintyre. <laughs> Spacking tire would have been better. Be better yeah. Spacking tire because because of his back. Yeah, Michael, you're getting your jokes punched up by Tom. <laughs> Are you happy with yourself? <laughs> Michael got no dad in tire. <laughs> I mean, it's such Michael McIntyre's family's left. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh fuck me! Do you two want to swap seats? How, how would you like a writing job for a day, Tom? Yeah, it really it's sounds like some, you need it. Yeah, he's got some material that really needs a punch oh, up. Oh, I re- it really does. Well, no, 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 no. It wasn't the fact that there weren't punchlines. It was the fact that the punchlines themselves. Yeah. Uh, it's because the whole bit, isn't it, is about how it sounds like she does mime and then you just mime for like 20 minutes in it, her getting raped. That's exactly it. Mm. That's exactly it. And now I'm a mime. <laughs> I'm a mime a Begum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The boy with rape on his face. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> the boy with rape. <laughs> How do you have rape on your face? Well, that's Trust part me, of the show. <laughs> yeah. um, do you remember the boy with tape on his face? He was fucking great. Yeah, I don't know why he's saying it like he's dead. He's still a massive act. Uh, like, in fact, he has like people who pretend to be him now. That's smart as fuck. Yeah, so he's like franchised out being tape. Face, yeah, he's trained. He's trained three other boy with tape on his faces. Yeah. Who all do you know the blue man group? There's not one blue man group, there's yeah. like 20 of them all. Yeah, there's loads of blue man yes. groups. Yeah. I did not know that. And he, um, there's a, there's a whole series of arrested development about it. <laughs> I have, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, yeah, when uh, yeah, they Tobias. Themselves. Yeah, 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 but he, uh, he basically rakes in all the royalties, yeah. so it's like he doesn't have to gig and he gets the income yeah. of gigging. Once, once Freddie finds three fat, miserable cunts, so, <laughs> Just... so if any, so if any, <laughs> if any, uh, if any guys want to get in touch yeah. you have to be a certain body shape yeah you have to also have just like you know like just zero energy on stage you need to have negative energy you essentially need to be a big fat black hole on the yeah. stage sucking in all the fucking uh vibe around you that's what yeah. you need yeah however if you are uh, a shouty gangly mess then mm-hmm. you could also make a living as robs i like doing stand up though i think i'll just do it myself and like, I don't trust them. I like doing stand up. I like yeah. doing stand up on stage. I like doing it on stage, and then everything around it is a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the bit where I go on stage, brilliant. Yeah. But the driving, yeah. talking to people, just... you get to go to a lot of drive throughs. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Look at the positive, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at you. You hey. cheered me up today. There you go. Do you reckon we could get people to be? Uh, like cover artists of you and then do a cover artist like a, a franchise version of this podcast oh god we could easily find like you know three freaks to fill in for us but uh, you know i don't think i trust our fans to take over to be honest oh no not the fans right not those idiots right just three random people yeah, 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 yeah. let's go right um your motivation is you all kind of hate each other off you go yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keywords to fit in, rape and paedophilia. You yeah. uh-huh. build around that. Well, we could do it in different languages. Yeah, languages well, like that Mr. We don't Beast speak. does. Like Mr. Beast like gets his videos translated into different languages. Oh, yeah, he's, oh, he's yeah. got a whole Spanish channel. Yeah, he? and like what he Senor does. Senor Beast. And he, <laughs> that's what it's called, yeah. Uh, then like he, uh, he gets like... Hey, Winston's in that, isn't he? <laughs> Fucking hell. Like he gets... <laughs> He gets like local celebrities to it's do Spain. it as well. Like so, when people listen, they go, "Oh, is that Spider Man?" And it is the Spider Man. Yeah, see, <laughs> it's the Spider Man. Um, but yeah, like, all right, we could translate this. What's uh, what's Spanish for gang rape? <laughs> <laughs> El loco ripo. Yeah. It's not. It's not how they do it in Spain, though. They don't do gang rapes. What they do is they all have a little bit of each rape. <laughs> <laughs>
They tap us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Come on. Hey. It's just a little bit of wordplay. Hey. hey. You didn't enjoy that last night, did you? <laughs> Pricks. Uh, no, I wonder what unbummed is in different languages. I don't think it translates, mate. Because for a start, bummed doesn't even translate to like American English. Why has he gone Spanish to English? You should have got English you to fucking Spanish. Fucking idiot. <laughs> this is what we have to deal with. He, he, can't, he doesn't right. even work out which way he can fucking... There we go. Shut up. Desanamida. Desanamida. But then if we go the other way, it means discouraged. Discouraged. To be unbummed. Unbummed. Discouraged or discouraged. Google yeah. thinks unbummed means to be discouraged. I yeah. mean, if I mean if Mark if, if if Michael Barrymore was discouraged, then he wouldn't be in this predicament, would yeah, he? Yeah, like, you know, maybe someone should have discouraged him using the chair leg and it might have helped. <laughs> right, what is it in Hungarian? What you want oh, about? What is it? We've already seen that it doesn't translate. Why well, it, well in, in that it means smooth. smooth. Yeah, when you translate it twice. <laughs> it is pretty smooth getting out of there unbombed. <laughs> right. Do you know what I saw recently, uh, which uh, is a news story that's going on at the moment that I'd love to talk about? Uh-huh. Have you heard the story of the gollywogs in the pub? Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, I have, yes. Now, if ever, something seems like a dead man talking. Uh... Uh-huh, Yeah. This is this is the people who are claiming that they're not doing it because they're racist. We're absolutely not racist. We're just having loads of gollywog dolls yeah, in our of, racist pub. We just have racist toys in our racist <laughs> pub staffed by racist people. But there's nothing racist about it. They're literally hanging them from their neck, these cunts. The only thing I was surprised about, though, was it wasn't in Kent. <laughs> That's the bit that shocked me. <laughs> but, you know, Essex is still within the triangle of country in so, the southeast. The thing is, their argument is that they just like the dolls. Yeah. That's worse. Yeah. Pedos. Yeah. How why into you, a doll are you? Playing with toys? Someone buy him a fucking cabbage patch kid for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, here's the thing as well is there's a little comment on the Facebook from the landlord where there's all those dolls hanging up on the wall and... Um, uh, uh, someone put, where did you get all those? And he said, Alabama, there's loads of them. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, also, like my fa- my favourite thing of the whole story, I think, was he, he, there was a photo of him that was circulating of him in a Britain oh, First this is T-shirt. A bit- oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the best, isn't it? Yeah. So he was, he's in a Britain First T-shirt. For anyone who isn't aware, Britain First are a, 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 a far-right racist group in the UK. And uh, he was in Led their T-shirt. Led by an absolute fitty. Yeah, Freddie wants to fuck their uh, big racist leader. Anyway. He's wearing this T-shirt, and they, they went, "No, no, 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 no! He's not wearing it because he's in Britain first, or he's he's into their beliefs. It just happened to be the most convenient <laughs> item of clothing for him to wear, isn't? Because it was convenient. When have you ever had to wear a T-shirt because it was convenient? I know you're just like, ah, oh, no, I've just spilt soup down myself, and I've got the big photo <laughs> shoot." <laughs> What's to hand? Oh no, there's only this full SS Voffen uniform. I guess as it's the most convenient thing. I'm sorry, officer. It was just this sheet was the most convenient thing to wear to this cross burning. <laughs> For fuck's yeah. sake. What would you do? I was out of clothing. I had extra bed sheets. Yeah. I improvised. I ran out of foundation, and the most convenient thing to replace it with was boot polish. <laughs> it's uh, it's insane. Like, isn't it? It's just like racists are thick, is the thing, isn't it? By yeah. definition. Yeah. So when they try to, they've definitely gone, got away with one there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't touch us on that one. Conven- it was just convenient. The, it- the thing is, as well, their argument is it's only a toy. Yeah. Right. But the argument goes both ways. It's only a toy. You yeah. Don't so need just get rid it. of it then. Yeah. It's not like, you know. Like- I would actually think, personally, that if they uh, had this, because um, the police came in, they yeah. came in. And confiscate. I can't believe I'm saying. Well, I think it was terms. five police, which does seem like overkill. They came yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. They came I think that the, the one could deal with a doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they came unless they had like but, thousands of dolls. But you know what the police are like when they're responding to a black criminal. You yeah, know? yeah. They've turned up. They've gone. What color are these yeah. dolls? Best send a full van. Yeah. <laughs> they just turn it shooting yeah, all the dolls. Ba 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 ba. Tasering them. <laughs> just beating them. <laughs> kicking Alien. them downstairs. Alien on them. Just smashing them. They're doing it like first aid training with the dumb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of little bags of cocaine around all these dolls. <laughs> I think the dolls dropped the coke. No, I 
uh, that doll's mobile phone looked like a gun, I swear. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, the doll was a res resisting arrest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but here's the thing, right, is I think, because the police came in, confiscated all the dolls and took them away, <laughs> and now they've gone out and bought replacement Hollywood yeah. dolls. Um, it's madness. But I think that, as weird as this is, I think that if you had them in your own home, in mm -hmm. the privacy of your own home, let's say you had a little closet just dedicated to gollywog toys for some reason, you should be allowed to have that. Yeah, it's yeah. weird yeah. as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, sh uh, you shouldn't be allowed to have any friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. we should all think it, you're an awful cunt. But, you know, you have a right to be a cunt, innit? Yeah. This is exactly it. Like, yeah. if you want to collect Nazi memorabilia and cover your fucking living room full of it, mm -hmm. you should be allowed to. I'm not going to come to your house for tea. But you should be I'd allowed. Have a look round. Oh yeah, fair. defo. To be fair, defo. Yeah, I would definitely Come look on. Around. If yeah. someone was like, "I've got shitloads of Nazi memorabilia," it's like, "I'm coming for a look," and then we're never talking again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I, I totally think you're right. But it is different when it's a public this space, is like thing. a pub. Yeah, you know, when yeah, it's yeah. a pub and which is a you... community living room by definition. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a business. Yeah, yeah. and you, you can't really just display them in public. Well, it, it's de facto racial segregation in it because if you're got, like you are making it very clear, black people are not welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's you a good are, point. Uh, yeah. you are, you know, by by default making it racially segregated. And look, to be honest with you, if I was a black guy and I saw that pub, I'd be like, well, thank you for letting me know I should never ever go there. There is at least that level to it where it's like, but do you know what? You know, how funny... they're going to be heaving full of cunts this week. No, well, how how up. funny would it be if uh, just for the next few weeks? Just th there was an agreement in the village that just only black guys just swarmed that pub. <laughs> yeah, and they were all lovely. They That's... were all dead nice. Yeah, and they had to be around because because they, pay... they wouldn't be able to turn around and yeah. go. Guys, can you fuck off? And they especially wouldn't... not right now. Mate, <laughs> no, I know. Mate, let's pay just... for a shuttle bus from like the nearest West Indian community centre. <laughs> to this place I'm assuming it'll be a hell of a drive to be honest from this place but how fucking great would that be I don't think it would I think they'd use it as an excuse and go look see yeah, he likes that it. is the problem yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 they've put a sign up now outside don't they saying we have gollywogs if you don't like it don't come in we've been reported by a snowflake yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, they put snowflake God. really big of course they have they've lent, they've lent into it you know they're gonna they're, they're gonna be heaving for the next few weeks it's great publicity for them oh, and I bet that, I bet they start a fucking podcast. <laughs> but like, you know, they'll do all that shit. Uh, and like, that's the problem with these on. sort of measures is like, I do think it's fucked for a public business to have golly, uh, golly dolls and all that. I yeah, think it's yeah. fucking awful. And Sorry, I, is, is, is that the term that you have to use? I don't know. It's just, it feels uncomfortable. So I'm sort of steering around a little uh, okay. bit. Okay. I you mean, know, I've, I've already... You've just blundered through it, obviously. I've already made me bed and lead in it, really, yeah, haven't yeah, yeah. I? I don't, I don't know. So I was just being slightly more cautious. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, but like, it's... You know, I think, um, you know, yeah, like it's awful and they shouldn't have it and, you know, it is a public place and all this. But any sort of like actual trying, inf like when the government gets involved and you have the police trying to enforce it, it doesn't help anything. It yeah. just makes it worse, you know, and it just helps the fucking cunts. I mean, on the, on the plus side, Alfie Brown's found a new boozer. <laughs> <laughs> Right, they've, they've got a screening of his special tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they're just going to stand up and applaud in the middle of it, like yes. No, they just salute. finally. <laughs> they just they just salute her brown. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's so funny. Yeah, it's mad. It's an absolute. Yeah, it's madness. just like I just don't really know what you do. I think you kind of just got to, like I, I I don't know because it is like yeah, you don't just want to like inflame it and make it worse. You just give it more oxygen in it by trying to shut it down. Yeah. Like it's not it's like yeah, we all know about this place now. You know, I bet it's doing a roaring trade. I think it will for a little bit, and then yeah. and then, and then everyone the else. Pub? Can you find out? Thankfully, where the, pub is? the conditions for running pubs are incredibly difficult, and they'll probably go out of business pretty soon. Do you reckon? Like, bit pubs are struggling. Oh, mate. how mad that he's Googled Gollywog pub. <laughs> it's a good Google, though, that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> finally, he's actually found a story immediately. I'm not going to fucking... Uh, find out where it is. Oh, my God. Her name's Bernice Ryan. The White Heart Inn in Grey's Essex. Uh -huh. oh. I like the way they've got a white doll as well, just to be like, see? Yeah. Hey? But that's clearly an albino. Just, <laughs> just don't have... You know what? It, it wouldn't matter. Well... 
It probably wouldn't matter more if it was Gollywog dolls. But if I went to a pub and it was just full of frog dolls, I'd be like, I'm not fucking going in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? If it had like a load of Pokemon dolls behind the yeah, bar. Yeah, Do you know like, what? Fuck this, Where Jesus. I used to live. Let's get to Nando's. Where I used to live in Bursko. <laughs> basic gun. <laughs> where, where I used to live in Bursko, there was a, a, a cafe uh, that was called the Teddy Bear Tea Cafe or oh, something like that. that. And you went in and it was full of teddy bears. Yeah. And they were all, I'm not even messing, they weren't even on the walls. They were sat at the tables and you had to sit around them, right? And I went oh. in once just after it had opened because mm. I didn't think that it was full of teddy bears. I thought I'd just go in and get a fucking cafe, uh, like a latte, a uh, flat white and do some You writing. sat in on almost all those teddies. It looked like someone had won you at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I honestly, I went in, it was completely dead yeah. and I planned on drinking in, but it was so creepy. I went, can I just get this to go? And she went, are you sure? And I went, yeah. Anyway, three months later, it had shut. It lasted three yeah. months. So like, have you ever been back to a girl's house and there's too many teddies? It's like such yeah. a massive oh, red flag. Oh, here's, like it, having it, to move 60 teddies off your bed so I can bum you. I... <laughs> I, it's just like, I can't do the things I want to do with fucking Goofy the dog <laughs> looking at me. Wiping your dick with a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's I, too wholesome in here. Can I we... do think that there's a correlation between the more a girl is into Disney, the more she has learning difficulties. Yeah. Like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know the ones that are like in their 30s mm -hmm. and they're like, I just love Tangled. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Your brain's Tangled. Yeah, yeah it's like... It, <laughs> No, I think bummed as a child in front of a Disney film, so that's how they cope, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, it's never a good sign. Like, too many teddies is a... Uh, uh. yeah. That's like, that's the female equivalent of having a sword on the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Having, having nunchucks. And a katana. And that, and yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. go around the dude's house. Like, I used to have a, I used to have a weed dealer. who was like, it was called Knifey, and I won't say his first name. It was Knifey John. Let's call him. And like, you know, Knifey John. I mean, just call him Knifey. There's not loads of them, is there? I know, but like uh, Knifey John. You go around, like you know, you go pick up, and he had like. It, his wall was covered in different knives. I thought you were like, saying different Johns? <laughs> <laughs> different bits of one John. Yeah. That's John Carew. <laughs> John Carew. <laughs> it's weird that that's the first John they came to mind, isn't it? Then Good John, John. Tickle. John. John Carew was the first John. That was the first John I went to. Yeah. Yeah. Norwegian ex Big Norwegian See, John Carew. My, my go-to is John Dahl Thomason. I don't know why. Wow, He's my okay. go-to John. Yeah. Who's kind of your go-to, John? Right, comment below <laughs> with your go-to, John. <laughs> well, I was going to say, so my first one was, bon Jovi. was uh, Johnny Knoxville, but that's right, a Johnny, okay. It's a it? Johnny, yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't really know many Johns. <laughs> Is this, is this the conversation we're going down now? Is this the route we're headed down? Who's your favourite John? How many Johns do you know? Hey? Fuck me. It seems like we're scraping the barrel. We have degenerated into like fucking like local radio yeah. at this point. Who's your favourite John? Next week we'll be looking at Collins. <laughs> It's got very partridge, hasn't it? It has yeah. gone massively. Par right. Should we get back to the race crimes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more that's more on yeah. brand for us, isn't it? What races is it okay to make a doll of and have in your pub? Um If I had a little Turkish man doll. <laughs> In my pub, would that be all right? Perfect little beard. Yeah, perfect little beard. <laughs> Looks like the photo on the barbershop wall. You know, he's got a really great fade. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. I also think uh, Inuit doll. He's hanging from his dick. S what, sorry? He's hanging from his dick, though. What's hanging from his dick? The doll. Oh. Does what it's hanging from affect it? Because the neck is the is bad. Okay. It's like, that's not okay. Yeah. Hanging from his dick. Yeah. Uh, but he looks like he likes it. Fine. He's hanging from his dick from someone's mouth. But he's like this, like... What, turkey teeth and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hairline on point. I think that's perfectly fine. Okay. I think. A... What if he's now Asian and he's doing the face? Uh, That's not fine. Okay, fair. Yeah. Wait, uh, what do you mean doing the face? Doing like, like... He's got like the, you know, like, he, like he's been out in the field picking rice hat and oh, he's got okay, that yeah. face, you know. Right. You know the face. Yeah. I just okay. want to do the face. To I'm, not, I'm, I'm not doing the face. Mm. I think a Greek doll is fine. Okay. Yeah. Big fat hairy Greek doll. Greek Turkish is fine. Yeah, and then I think that's about as far. Right. As you once can you go. get once you get past that into Asia or Africa, you're done. You're yeah, done. You're, you're done. done. Yeah, because you're hitting like Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At there's that a point, there's going to be. A... I would not like to see an Israeli doll. You know, no. I'm not Jeremy Corbyn. Oh no, no, I'm going to get Alfie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> um... 
think anyone who's into anything a lot, like dolls or anything, even like I'm a United fan, but people who have like loads of United memorabilia and pictures and stuff in there. Too house, like, much memorabilia me- does get a bit. Yeah. Memorabilia has never impressed me. No, it, you know it, they go, oh, that's the uh, that's the shirt Eric Cantona wore yeah. in the FA Cup final against Liverpool when he scored the winner in extra yeah. time. The shirt didn't do it. Yeah, this is it. He just yeah, happened to a, wear it. Yes and no. It depends because like the, the memorabilia around everyone's house isn't like that good. Like you know, I went to uh, like, I went uh, football museum in uh, Manchester. I do like class. the National Football Museum. I went, really you know, they had this shirt that Maradona did the hand of God in. Yeah, and like you know, it, it's. It's just cool. Like, yeah, but yeah. to have it in your house, to have like a mug yeah, or whatever. Yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's two houses near me and one's got a, a United flag, like as a flag on a flagpole yeah, really yeah, big. Yeah. And next door in the next garden, a yard away, they've put their flagpole up with a massive city flag. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, who was first? I know. And who was so petty? They were like, which I'm going to do one as well. Which is more embarrassing, being first or second? Yeah, so, exactly. like Because first, you're being a prick. So yeah. the second is you can't handle having the flag. To be honest, if someone did that near me, I might fucking so, have a little bigger so, Leeds flag. <laughs> so uh, here's the thing, though, is it might be friendly sort of back and forth neighbour dad banter. So my uncle is a... Peter uh, fan. Yes. Uh, Big fat con. He is a... Big uh, con. He's a Preston North End fan. And his like neighbor, he should be. His neighbour is a Burnley fan. And each year at Christmas, they get each other, like, joke presents. Sure. Uh, so uh, my uncle had a uh, a leaflet professionally designed and printed out called "So You Want to Impregnate Your Cousin" and put that through his letterbox at Christmas. Oh, that's good, of, yeah. Like and then he, because uh, it's it's all inbreeding jokes. Yeah, yeah. So he got that's Burnley impressed him. What he, else are you gonna he, do? He got uh, this. This bloke got my uncle a pair of gardening gloves, but he'd stitched an extra finger. <laughs> 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 ah, lovely, <laughs> lovely stuff. That's just fun. That that's, is fun. That's been going on yeah. for at least a decade. Yeah. See, that's well, funny because that, that that is funny. Yeah. But what I'm talking about is shit memorabilia. Like I've got a, someone. People buy me presents about United all the time because I like United. But a, a, like a plastic pint glass with a United badge on it. Yeah. Like, first of all, it's a plastic glass. That's a dog shit present. And yeah. it's just got this big badge on it. It just looks fucking I know what round. we're getting, Tom, for Christmas. Well, I've already got one. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you're gonna hate another one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm not huge into memorabilia like that. Like you know, I've got like uh, I've got a mug with like a view from Ella Road that my, my cousin got me. Yeah, you know. But like coincidentally, the photo was taken right from where my season ticket is. Yeah, so it's like, oh, that's nice. Here's you know, a question. Like, yeah. Here's a question. How many gollywogs do you have to own? Before it is one, it's it's, it's one. It's, the answer's one. Right, no, 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 no. So, so she owns a gollywog uh-huh. that was handed down from her grandma and her grandma before her, and she keeps it in a drawer. I'm a racist. She... My mum was a racist, <laughs> and my grandma was a racist before her. She she keeps it in a drawer, and this is a woman that uh, works tirelessly with, I, I don't know, like does something good. Do you know what I mean? Like, like what? <laughs> she's a nurse. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, you can be a racist nurse. Yeah, but she's not. So um, I mean, I think her doll collection says no, different. No, no, no. She's no, it's not collection. It's just one. Uh huh. And she's got it in a drawer. Yeah. And it's been passed down from generations and generations. Every she night, look at she it. takes she... it out and sniffs it while she wanks. <laughs> she knows it's offensive, so she doesn't let anyone see it. Yeah. And she does it because yeah. she's a nice person. Just got one. Right. Yeah. Why? Why, why that... are you keeping it? What? Well, sorry. Uh, it's been passed down from generations. Yeah, to but generation. why? She feels weird about throwing it away. Yeah, but why? She's thinking like, that's not the bit of family history. It's got, you need it's got to keep. DNA from a dead mum, and she's thinking maybe she can clone her mum one day. She's already clone a nurse. Her mum <laughs> off a racist doll. Maybe. <laughs> I'm afraid this clone has quite unfortunate lips. I'm really sorry. <laughs> clone her mum from a racist doll. Excuse me, can you clone my mum? Yes, yes, we can. Have you got any DNA? Well, as it happens, I do. It's all over <laughs> this gollywog doll. Yeah. Uh, did your mum have this hairstyle? <laughs> I mean, that'd be a good reason to keep it. Is that no? Racist? It's not a good reason to keep it. Is it what, all right? It, what if she's like the world's expert in cloning? She's the world's expert in cloning. Yeah, yeah and that's and the she's only bit of DNA. It in a drawer underneath some socks. <laughs> no, she's got a little plastic bag. She's got, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, mate. I didn't understand it's it was in a life. little plastic. It's it was in a life. bag for life. Oh, life. sorry. Thick. Sorry, that's how you preserve DNA. I don't in know. A she's bag the expert. For life. She's the expert. That's good. Imagine. What do, you, do you think a bag for life literally keeps things alive? Maybe. <laughs> Why else is it called that? 
Oh, my God. Jesus fucking Christ. Imagine if you gave a sperm sample and you had to hand it over and it just an <laughs> Asda carrier pack. Yeah, what, soaked into a teddy bear? <laughs> That's like rig out a fucking, fucking cabbage beanie patch baby. Kid. <laughs> you couldn't jizz on a cabbage patch kid. That makes it yeah. so much stronger. Not on that round, round face. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I don't think one kept in a drawer yeah. in isolation is wrong. No, look, the, look, there are slight extenuating circumstances. I still think probably just chuck it away. It's not the family history you need to keep. No, yeah. you're right. You it's know, not, just yeah. keep a better memento. You know, but she feels weird about throwing it away. Well, feel weird. You know, get over it. Also, also, if she wants to keep it hidden, you got to throw it away. Then you got to go somewhere to throw it away. It's yeah, I think it's more, It's kind of worse being caught with a secret one as well. If someone yeah. finds that in your drawer no, stashed no, away, I it's think, like I think that if if I was round at someone's house, rummaging through the knicker drawer, yeah. <laughs> as you do, swiping through some picnic baskets, <laughs> um, I opened up a drawer. And there was a gollywog doll in there. And you'd the be person... like, oh, I've made a new friend. Do you want to join a club? <laughs> <laughs> I know a perfect pub that will welcome people like <laughs> us. Uh, and the person came in and was like, oh, you found that doll. Oh, yeah, it's really embarrassing, but it's yeah, a it's family. No one looks uh... like her, just fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> the little hole cut out of the back, all the stuffing taken out. This doll's like, kill me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, I think that one in isolation, it's a bit odd, but it's explainable. It does depend what you do with it. Right. I reckon two. Uh, two, you're already over. You can't yeah. explain more than one. I think two is a lot. Two no. is a collection in it. Only, two is a collection. If, only if they're holding hands. I think if they're holding hands. Well, that's hands one draw, doll that has two parts. That's, that's it, right? If you've got conjoined dolls, fine. <laughs> But if they are two separate dolls, you now have a collection. Okay. You're a wrong one. You know what yeah. they should do is, here's a good compromise. <laughs> We're not looking to compromise here, Tom. <laughs> what? No, no, I that. Hey, look, let's meet these racists halfway. <laughs> All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. We'll just, we'll just like, you know, call them bad names. We won't hit them. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's say that this woman isn't a racist and she does like the doll. Let's say, for example, maybe she is. Okay. What Tom's she... playing racist advocate for now. What if, she dressed him just as really successful people. And then you're like, well, this is the opposite of racism. Tom, Tom, Tom. 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 God. The, the problem with the dolls Tom. isn't their occupation. God. If you put that doll in a little business suit, it's still racist. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Not maybe. Dress up Not maybe, judge. definitely. Yeah. Uh, what, are you on, what? what are you on what, about? This one's a scientist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're yeah, smashing down boundaries. Do. He's an astronaut. Astronaut would be a good one. Shut the fuck up, Tom. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what about if they were dressed successfully? Successfully. What do you think this is? Build a bird? Like, you just go down and... Oh my god. Actually, build a bird for golly watch is a genius. No, idea. no, it's not a genius idea. <laughs> Hello, dragons. Because there's only one face option for a start. They all look the fucking same, don't they? The dolls, to be clear. Yeah. They, well, they need to change the face, really, don't they? That's where I'd start. <laughs> That'd be my first port of call, mate. There'd be quite a few things I'd change. To be honest, I'd just make a different doll. I'm not looking to rebadge and rebrand these. I reckon we just forget about them, move on, have a different doll that isn't wildly racist. How about that, Tom? Yeah, How about yeah. that? What's, what's the history of them? Where did they come what from? What do you mean, what's the history of them? <laughs> what I feel like I'm having a stroke here today. What's I don't wrong know with much, you to... to be fair, I don't know much. What I know that mean? they're racist, but I don't know what much about What do you them. mean? They're just racist dolls. They made them to go, ha, ah, look at black people. Ha, ah, ah. we got a little pet black person. That's what it is. That's the history. They get away with jam so they can laugh at black people. What, is... what do you mean? Ah. It was created during a racist era. What do you... Yes! Did you have to fucking Google that? Yeah. Well, I'm just That's reading what it says. Dumb. <laughs> he was drawn as a caricature of a minstrel, which itself yes! represented the demeaning image of blacks. There is racial stereotyping of black people in Florence Upton's books, including the adventure of two Dutch dolls. Yeah. So right. it's just a racist caricature that was, it was just a doll. People thought it was fun to be like, ah ha! That's it. Yeah. What more did you expect? 
I don't know. I, I just didn't know. I just, you don't see him very often. Do the reading, Tom. Do the reading. You need to go post a black square on your Instagram right now. <laughs> <sighs> For fuck's sake. I don't read. What's TikTok? Like every time I think I've lost all the respect I could for you two. <laughs> what I've not always a, a I've lower not, level. I've not done anything wrong. Sorry, should we just rewind that whole conversation? You think you did nothing wrong yeah, in that conversation? Totally. What about the Builder Bear idea? Yeah. <laughs> I mean the Builder Bear idea. You were trying it. to improve them. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to improve them. Builder Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think, you know, let's improve everything. No, let's not improve everything. Let's right. let's get rid of some I, stuff. I yeah. don't understand on a serious topic. Serious now. I, oh brilliant. Serious. I don't understand why people would look at those dolls and go, I'd like loads of them. Well, yeah, you have exactly. to be a racist. There isn't yeah, a, any yeah, other but, explanation. But, but it's not even like they are aesthetically like pleasing to look yeah. at. It's not even like they're made out of really uh, prized materials yeah. or the craftsmanship yeah, yeah, yeah. is of an excellent quality. They're just shitty, because, ugly, racist dolls. Yeah, because they 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 enjoy the racism of the, them. That that's where it comes from. And like in the past, I think when they first like came about, it was because like black people were like infantilized and seen as like stupid and beneath uh, like white people. Yeah, and they yeah, yeah. Be presented as minstrel characters, as like childlike, uh, dumb, and innocent, and just singing happy songs and being like, gee, mister, oh, what? You know, it was all like they were just presented as like gormless idiots. So then yep. the doll was the representative of that. And it's like, oh, fun, look at this fun, stupid little idiot doll that we've got. And like, that's where it comes from. It's all that, that was where they saw the cuteness was in the racist stereotype that they made. Ugh. Right, it's got a better horrific. compromise. Right, fucking hell. Uh, okay. I didn't realise any of that. So, yeah, I bet. For the racist, the racist woman, what if we make loads of stupid dolls about her mm -hmm. and then anyone gets to have them? Yeah, uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. I don't think she'd care, though. I think she'd be delighted that we could have like racist dolls. written on it and like, just like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, it's. It, it's it's weird that your solution to this is more weird dolls. More dolls. Like, it's like, yeah. maybe we could have more dolls. <laughs> dolls for everyone. Yeah, we could clone him. We could clone the dolls. Yeah, Dolly the Sheep. <laughs> he's insane, isn't he? He's just, he's fucking like, he thinks of a pun and then just crowbars he makes, it in He makes backwards. you walk into Jim it. Jim crowbars yeah. it in. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> just, good. God. It's because that's on the screen. He's on here. He's on the screen before. So get out of the pub. I wonder if people have started leaving negative reviews online and shit. Because that's what usually oh, happens yeah. with stuff like this, yeah. isn't it? Like, usually people, you know... Um, I mean, I... I uh, again, I, I, I've, I think that you shouldn't have those dolls. I don't think it should be illegal to own the dolls. I know what you're saying. I think it should just be like a moral thing yeah. where people go... Why Can the... you just stop being a cunt? Yeah, yeah. It's yes. just that, innit? I've said this for fucking years, yeah. right? I've said this for when years. When are you going to stop being a cunt? The, no, no, there needs to be. You know how like people are like, am I under arrest, officer? Yeah. Under what specific bylaw? There should just be a law of being a cunt. Yeah, the problem is uh, giving the police more vague laws to enact doesn't really go well. Because they go, I think that black guy's being a cunt. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. Um... I mean, I mean, someone's review is nicer inside than outside. Mm -hmm. What the fuck does it look like outside? Yeah, I think, oh, yeah, that that's is, I think he's talking about the people. That's in 2021. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's only got 12 reviews this time. If you go back... This one's only got one review and it says racist pub. <laughs> well, click on that. That's probably what we want to look at, right? Yeah, that seems like the one. Oh, no, it's got 11 reviews. A racist pub. Yeah, you've got to like verify like TripAdvisor yeah. reviews and stuff so you can't go on it. That These are fun. not my words. These are the words of Rikos431. <laughs> He's got a picture of the Great Wall of China in his profile picture. <laughs> Any place that hangs gollywogs on display in their pub, it's about there, wrong, does not deserve a license and it should be shut down immediately. I found the pub when I went there once and only the once back in November 2017. Very unfriendly as well, despite the obvious racist beliefs of the landlord. Despite, and that was in. And that was in. It was unfriendly. Oh, that was despite in, the that racist That was in 2018. Yeah, they wrote that in 2018. He, um, yeah, because they saw the dolls and like you know. Uh, but yeah, like that. That implies that you know, it the when it goes, it's very unfriendly despite the racist views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like well, normally 
when the owner's got racist views, you'd expect it to be very friendly. Yeah, to me. To me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, there's another racist pub one from yeah. 2018. Uh, went in there with my partner for a meal and a drink and found offensive black dolls above the bar. What's that straight away? Come on, this 2018, not the 50s. Yeah, because like it's not like they've installed these dolls last week, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and like most people in the area will be fucking delighted by it. They'll be like, ah, great, fucking ha ha ha. Ugh, yeah. God. Fucking Essex. Fuck the South. You'd be so ashamed if that was your local, wouldn't you? Yeah. Like, you'd be so like... Well, just, God's a different yeah, point. I wouldn't make it my local, to be honest. <laughs> if you walk in there and they say the usual, you've got you've got problems, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. usual, yeah, I'll have a pint and a mild and a burning cross. <laughs> Fucking awful cunts. It's like, dreadful, isn't it? Yeah, just like such shitty little thick, small-minded twats. Yeah, like, I agree inbred fucks who will live and die in their shitty little village with their shitty little friends doing nothing of note in their entire life. This is the highlight of their life. And they'll be going, think... it's cancel culture. Yeah. Ugh. I don't think they'll sound like that, though, to be fair. They're from Essex. Oh, what? It's fucking cancel culture. Why, why can't I have my racist dolls above my shit fucking pub? Yeah. It's because of fucking snowflakes. That's what it is. Why can't I have a racist doll? What's wrong with that, eh? What's wrong with that? Yeah. Cunts. Cunts. Fucking cunts. cunts. Hey, it's Big Crazy Bob telling you about our content emporium. We're slashing prices on content. Three pounds a month. Get all the dark content jokes you want at patreon.com forward slash dead man Tom Pod. Oh boy, there's some offensive shit in there. Get on it for three pounds a fucking month. Uh, you fucking cunts. And uh, when is it you're fighting Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania? <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> If you'd like to get more from us, check us out on patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod for three pounds a month. Here's a little sample of the sort of hilarious bullshit you've been missing out on. One film over the last 20 years, yeah. you have to remake it with 500 pound actors in every role. 12 years a slave. <laughs> get that worked off. Come on. The pianist. <laughs> the boy in the very large striped pajamas. <laughs> I, no white in the seven dwarfs. Yeah, the boy in the horizontally striped pajamas. I was. <laughs> it's just Auschwitz, but they're all pressed against the fence. <laughs> yeah, and they're trying to starve him, but the film's well long. It's just like oh. they keep saying, Sir, they will not die. We have not fed them for seven months, and they are still a massively overweight. Yeah, <laughs> none of them want to go into showers. They say they'll shower tomorrow. <laughs> Sir, they keep going in there, but it's this thing, they wear a t shirt. <laughs> Black Swan would be good, that yeah. ballet film. Yeah. Do you know what I thought would be quite good? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. <laughs> so yeah. All of them just getting instantly hit. I know, I know. Just every single one hit. Every one of them getting hit after every fucking bit. It's the quickest game of dodgeball ever. Yeah, like there's not much dodging going on. Like, <laughs> not an agile people, your what folk, about, are they? What about uh, Shawshank Redemption? Yeah, where just he, getting stuck he, in yeah, the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> His little legs just poking out. It's like, well, we found the cunt. Titanic, it sinks a lot quicker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just he boards the ship and it tilts like that, snaps in half. I like the idea of Shawshank Redemption, where he does the bit where he moves the poster and he looks down the hole, but he has to look this far because the cunt's just stuck. <laughs> the poster's just got a really big fat woman on it. <laughs> <laughs> or he does that thing where he puts his finger through and in. Instantly, he just touches him. He's like, he's there. Right. He's just, he's there. Back Snakes gun. on a plane, right? But there's a, a scene with a breathless Samuel L. Jackson asking for a seatbelt extension. <laughs> Sna snacks on a plane. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sick of these motherfucking belts on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> now, uh, from one side of the political yeah. ballpark. <laughs> no, no, go on. To another side of the political ballpark. Sorry, we're, great in the, so we're in the political ballpark and we're staying in it, yes. but we're going to the other side. What the I, fuck is yes. a political ballpark? The political a, ballpark. It is a ballpark. It's like a play area. Yes. <laughs> no, that's a political ball pit. 
Oh, right, right. right. You, you can only like be Jacob Rees Mogg yeah. throwing plastic balls at poor people. <laughs> no, this is the um, wacky warehouse of the House of Commons. This is the political <laughs> ballpark, a totally different thing, a uh-huh. uh, different metaphor, but still holds up very robustly. Uh-huh. Uh, we are going to take from one side of the political ballpark, we are going to have a little walk down to the other side. Right, but you're still in the same ballpark. But we're on the other side of it. Right. Yes, we're in the same ballpark because we're talking about politics, sort of. But <laughs> this is this is taking a long time to introduce this. Ballpark Tom is yeah. a big ballpark. Are we having this walk in real time? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm slightly out of breath. Um <laughs> Google and I hope I get their name right. Dylan Mulvaney. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one that. Um, let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can upset a different oh, group say, of people. Why? Why are we people? doing this now? We just managed to just about steer out of that last one. I feel like you steered out of. The yeah, last I did. One. I did a lot of heavy lifting you for you. You did two. a lot of steering. I feel like I. Uh, you uh, cut the brakes I, at one point. I dabbled, uh-huh. and I feel like Tom really. Uh, yeah. Tom was grabbing the steering wheel and doing that with it. Yeah. So. Do you know who Dylan Mulvaney is? I have absolutely no idea beyond this story, to be honest with you. So, Dylan Mulvaney is a uh, TikToker. and um, oh, This is why I don't know. So, Dylan Mulvaney was, I believe, originally uh, in the cast of the Book of Mormon. Right, uh, okay. And, Great show. Well, sorry? Great show. Yeah, Great show. And was in the Book of Mormon an incredibly camp gay man who has come out as transgender Mm -hmm. and is now an incredibly uh, girly sort of over... Really was really worried about what that adjective was going to (laughs) be. What did you think it was going to be? I didn't know, and I was very tense. There was just a moment where you started thinking, I was like, please don't say abhorrent. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Stomach churning. Very um, uh, sort of like a... So people are upset with this person because they believe that she is like a an over the top caricature of femininity, right? When really it's it's right. Well, unlike everyone else on TikTok, who's very smooth and calm, and like there's no exaggeration of personality. Well, yeah, very subtle. well. Yeah. So Bud Light of of sort of entered into like an ambassador thing with her. It's caused absolute fucking hell. Yeah. And Nike have employed her to sell uh, like leggings and yeah, 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 and yeah. that's gone fucking because it's 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 basically this person is so over the top in their femininity Uh that people think that she's taking the piss however if you see her when she was a man i'm trying really hard to navigate this pronoun minefield if if you see her when she was a man she was exactly the same yeah it's just what gay men do you know what I mean? It's just some gay men who like that. Right, but this isn't a gay man, to be clear. This is a trans woman. I know, but... But she was a gay man for a yeah, while. Yeah, but, but but when she was she a was gay man... She was a trans woman. Good Lord. When she was a gay man, she acted in the she exact same way. She was never a gay man. Way. She was always a trans woman. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Help me. Maybe she was Can we go back to talking about golly pre-tra- that was, pre- that was Pre-transition, she was also a camp. Right, yeah, okay. When she was a gay man. <laughs> okay. Can you get up some vid- can you try and find a TikTok video? If you Google Dylan yeah. Mulvaney TikTok, then you'll see what I mean. So you'll see that they are very sort of over the top, uh, you know. Yeah, they look like they're screaming in that one. That seems like a good one. I'm a city child. I live at the Plaza Hotel, which is huge and wonderful and trace elegant, especially at Christmas time. So there's so there's there's, right. there's backlash in this video because yeah. this is Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, I would say you you would say dressed as a child. Yeah, you'd think that'd be fair to say. Yeah, childish. Certainly. And yeah. and miming to a video saying that I'm six years old and that I'm uh-huh. in the Plaza Hotel. So yeah. there's another thing as to well. Fair, she is... doesn't finish it by going, and I hope someone fucks me on this bed. <laughs> you know. She's not getting reamed out in this, is she? She's just sort of dancing around. <laughs> That's the thing. People think that it's sexual when it's, yeah. things aren't always sexual. We dressed sexual. you as an adult baby, and it was the opposite of sexual. <laughs> yeah. We were in a sex dungeon. Doesn't yeah. help my argument. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Like, look, right, the, the thing is, that's annoying. I, I'm with them on that. That is an annoying person. But they have every right to be annoying. 
Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're a TikToker. They're annoying, all annoying. Annoy, that's what I say. Yeah, they're, they're just... Uh, if you don't want to be annoyed by over-the-top people, I'd suggest staying off TikTok. I've yeah. never heard of this person. I've never been annoyed by him. Well, people are going uh, ape shit. If you Google, Basically because a beer company sponsored a trans person. Well, that's well it. actually, it's more because of the Nike sponsorship. That's really upset people. Yeah, well. yeah. yeah, to be fair, it, who's buying sports clothing? So if you Google uh, Dylan Mulvaney Nike, yeah. uh, then you'll probably be able to see the video. Well, like what is uh, it? Like companies know that this shit is controversial and it's the cheapest fucking PR they can get. So they're just like, oh, they go, oh, that's gone controversial. We'll also get on that. If you keep going down, there you go. That's the video there. That's right. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, it's because it's like Caitlyn Jenner came out and like had a go at her, isn't it? That, that it kicks off because Caitlyn Jenner is a cunt. Caitlyn Jenner it really doesn't. Uh, really hates trans people. Really doesn't back her own team as <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah, and think. like she was having a go because didn't Dylan Mulvaney? Sorry, did we just pause for a second. Didn't um, like because there was something about her doing like a sport event or something, wasn't there? Like that was what um, Caitlyn Jenner was going on about. That would not surprise me. So I yeah, think. that was it. They were like, I think um, you know, Dylan had some like competition like with women and like Caitlyn Jenner being like, that's gross. You know, shouldn't uh, trans women shouldn't be in this? And then someone just screenshotted that with uh, Caitlyn Jenner taking part in a women only golf tournament, and it's like, well. You know, yeah, what but doing golf here? is it's it's the same. Like you know, it, yeah. it, if you, if it's women only, and you think trans women shouldn't be in women's sports, you shouldn't be in it. Yeah, if you're but a trans I think woman. yeah, but it's not like the Olympics. No, well, but like Dylan Mulvaney wasn't in the fucking Olympics. But, but Do you I... think that fucking woman we've just seen dancing around a hotel room was in the fucking Olympics? <laughs> no, but that's Tom? all I'm saying. What I'm saying is. Nah, she can go in a women's th- golf I, tournament if she wants. I, th- I think totally. I totally agree. I think, like, you know, especially at an amateur level, who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah, it's not just on the but, PGA. But if you're the person who is saying that trans people shouldn't be involved in that, then you shouldn't be doing it yourself. Yeah. I think Live your fucking beliefs. I th- it's like, I don't think it was that bad to break a couple of lockdown rules. But if you were the person setting the lockdown rules, I think it makes you a cunt. Different, yeah. you know? I was thinking about becoming trans so they could win at sport. You know, you still I'd be, lose. Yeah, I'd be too embarrassed if I lost. I'm yeah, still worried that I'd just lose everything. You'd still be terrible. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I think it really depends what sports, doesn't it? Like, like yeah, yeah. if it's darts, who's asked? Yeah, yeah. If it's fucking boxing, yeah, it's more of an issue. It's but more like, also, of an issue. like, I don't. Not I, funnier if it's boxing. <laughs> yeah, like you know, I don't. Uh, it's very complicated. I don't care. Very but, like, complicated. It's 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 like you know, on that level, I don't give a shit. It's more the hypocrisy from uh, Caitlyn Jenner. That's the only thing I have an opinion on. My question for you is this: right, is if you had to pick the worst person to represent a brand, mm-hmm. who would you pick? And Freddie why? Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> for a fitness brand. What, for Nike? For Nike. Are we allowed to Nike? Just do it, you covered in hash brown crumbs. <laughs> Rob's dad, child line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good work. Um, uh, I don't know, like, for what for what brand are we talking? Well, let's go with uh, Bud Light, because those were the first ones. Uh-huh. Who would be the worst? Jihadi John. <laughs> Gaza. <laughs> I really like the idea of Abu Hamza. And he's yeah. just trying to pick one up with his, just, his No, it's, Abu Hamza definitely shotguns beers. <laughs> 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 that's, that's how he gets them down, oh, isn't it? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Bud Light, who else would be bad? Uh, Shemima Begum. <laughs> underage and doesn't drink, I assume. I don't think she's she, underage now. I don't think she's underage now. Well, you know, when she was got famous. <laughs> Where does she live now? Does she live in Afghanistan? Nowhere. All right. She's not allowed to live anywhere. She just floats above the ground. Well, yeah, she lives in, if she lives in Afghanistan, so she's no, not allowed to drink no, anyway. She's, no not, she's, 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 like, uh, she's like Tom Hanks in the terminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, how oh, you know? Uh, Survivor of WH Smiths. <laughs> yeah. You know how you get like neutral athletes at the Olympics? She's <laughs> stateless. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's had so many bars of dairy milk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just lives on massive toll the roads. <laughs> Drinking Tom Ford aftershave. <laughs> This episode is so bad. This is this one. Was one of the worst ones we've done in ages. <laughs> like, we've been like before it, we're like, oh, we don't know if this is a public or Patreon. This I know go. which one I hope <laughs> is. If you're watching this on YouTube, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ almighty. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. Bud Light, worst uh, worst one would be, I, I can't think of a worse one than Shemima. No, definitely not. Is he not. having a really, really bad alky? Like Gaza? Uh-huh. You're not gonna Les- bite, you're like, I don't want to turn into that. Les um, Battersby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you a bad one. Uh, the McCann's for Specsavers. Yeah. 
<laughs> for, for or like... for Nando's, actually, a Portuguese <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Sh- Shannon Matthews for Oak Furniture Land. <laughs> oh, God. What a game. What a fucking game. Michael Barrymore for swimming lessons. <laughs> sorry, what? Sorry, what? Sw- what, what? that big what? multinational <laughs> company? I think, they're, I think they're listed on the FTSE 500. Oh, God, swimming. Tell you what, I saw a great sw- billboard for swimming lessons on my way in. Can't bloody move it. I'm sick of singing that cat, that song from the swimming lesson advert that's always on. <laughs> fucking little idiot. I have to advertise You're swimming lessons. You're a fucking lessons. little idiot. What he did was I saw his eyes flick <laughs> over yeah. to the books over there. I, exactly I saw him look at the books from dodgy people. He went, Barry Moore, that's one. Swimming pools. Jim, Jim Crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, swimming lessons. I couldn't swimming think of a lessons. swimming thing. Because <laughs> there wasn't one there. So just wait. But then I thought they do advertise swimming just lessons. Just say nothing. Swimming just say lessons. nothing. Swimming but they, I'd already said Barrymore, and they do advertise I swimming lessons. With, I would have gone with like Frosties because they do the swimming badges, you know? Oh, God. Yeah, that's there we go there. Swimming lessons. Oh, it was a bit of a leap, was it? And yours was bang on. Well, have you, they advertise swimming lessons. Where? At swimming pools. At swimming pools. <laughs> you mean there's a poster on the wall of a swimming pool? Yeah, advertising swimming lessons. Oh, all right. Well, what if Rob Harris advertised a church it. bake sale? <laughs> For fuck's sake. That's <gasps> funny, though. <sighs> oh, Jesus oh Christ. Christ. All right, Rolf Harris advertising the band Steps. <laughs> They're a brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a big old callback, oh, isn't it? Oh, my yeah. God. I can't, I can't put up with him anymore. It's <laughs> fucking unreal, isn't it? <laughs> Michael Barrymore advertising <laughs> swimming <laughs> lessons. <laughs> I did a really good Shannon Matthews one as well. It was good. Yeah, we yeah, could have left good, it yeah. there. Exactly perfect. It was, done. it was very funny. A little obtuse because he referenced draws, but not. And it was a company that could yeah. have had an advert. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. Do you know that what? Worked, what that. What's mad is that I start off shit and I grow into it. Sure. Whereas he starts off strongly. Sometimes you're progressively pump, worse. Sometimes you'll pump one too far, but you know you've had a good peak. Yeah. You know? Whereas. Sorry, it's just random scattergun fire. <laughs> Every now and again, it'll be an absolute perler. But, you know, it's like, it's like you know, when you get a midfielder who just, like, punts loads of long-range yeah. shots. I'm Charlie Adam. <laughs> yeah, you're Charlie Adam. You're Bradley Johnson is who you are. Ronaldo's free kicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't yeah. see the 200 that is skied into the stands. We yeah. just see the one against Spain. Oh, when it goes in, wow, amazing. Yeah. All the comments, what an absolute worldie Oh, what, she stood over the ball? Could yeah. get excited. Oh, no, he said swimming lessons. <laughs> we got five minutes out of it. <laughs> Michael Barrymore, swimming lessons. Look, if Hi, I... Hi, like- I'm Michael Barrymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to advertise swimming lessons. Look, if I went to Horwich Leisure Centre... a chair leg at the camera. <laughs> if I went to Horwich Leisure Centre, right, uh-huh. and, they said, and it said swimming lessons, and it was Michael Barrymore's picture on the poster, that'd catch my eye. It I'd would be catch like, your eye. You know what? It's I'd... also not what we were fucking talking about, a poster inside a swimming bath. Also, you're in the swimming bath. Why do they need to advertise you? You're already there. Yeah, but I might not have thought about lessons. <laughs> I might have been trying to teach myself how to swim. And you think Michael Barrymore would be a better tutor? It'd be eye-catching, is what I'm saying. It would be eye-catching. We were be, thinking about It bad... wouldn't be me eye I'd be fucking worried about, to be honest with you, mate. Well, I wouldn't buy furniture, Shannon Matthews. Besides, that was the joke. That was the joke, yeah. He's insane, isn't he? It's unreal. It's, my logic stacks up. Does it? Yeah. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> do you think Tom's a little fucking moron? <laughs> right in below. <laughs> I mean, that goes without saying, but, but if you think the logic makes sense, also write him below. Stop sending me the fucking Chris picture as well, Chris. Keep Cricks. sending him the Chris picture. <laughs> um, have you got any questions for us? Yeah, i got fucking Yeah, questions, I've mate. got a couple of little fun videos to watch as well. Lovely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't think we can make this public, this one, can we? <laughs> it's just a fucking lot. It's, it's a, a lot. fucking lot. We'll see how the schedule works out. Yeah. If you had to take each other out on a romantic date, for some serious bumming, where would you take each other? Remaining unbummed isn't an option. Right, well, I'm going, we're going to go on a lovely little date. What we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, we're going to have a spa day, right? What we're going to do is we're going to get you washed and then we're going to have colonic irrigation therapy. I'll tell you what you can so do while you're there. 
Yeah. Swimming lessons. <laughs> <laughs> We've passed it. We're we passed it. On. Every time I try to get <laughs> out, it's he like, pulls me back hey in. Hey, guys, remember when I did something shit? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I'd Lord. want you. I'd want you thoroughly washed. We're gonna go. We're gonna go check out Karcher pressure washers. Is what we're gonna do. <laughs> hey, uh, do, you, do you want to go have a bath in disinfectant? <laughs> yeah, we're shoving a bottle of Dettol up your gooch. I'd, I'd take you to a steakhouse. Yeah, yeah. Because right, you watch me be... eat a side salad. Yeah, whilst I eat the biggest steak. Uh huh. Well, you really want to get some energy up for this? Yeah, do you? yeah. Because I'm gonna stare at your eyes and just lick my lips the whole time. Uh huh. Yeah, you're going to be terrified. Right, so you, you want to just like really ramp it up. You want to make it romantic before we fuck. No, 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 no. I want you to see an animalistic side of me that terrifies you. Right. It's not going to terrify me. He's seen you eat before yeah, many exactly. times. <laughs> and like, I know I can easily outpace you. Like, any bumming is going to be on my terms. No, 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 because you'll be, if I'm taking you out on the date, you're getting bummed. Right. Yeah. Okay, and vice versa. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to seduce each other, I think. Right. No, okay. we're not trying to seduce each other. Oh, right, okay. Because, because no, no look, it doesn't really say look, that. The reason that I've not fucked Rob up the arse <laughs> is because we've not been on a nice day out together yet. What the fuck are you <laughs> on about? Might be. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> That's hey, what I'm saying. I think you know? it would. <laughs> <laughs> not with his little knob. I could easily take Freddy's tiny little penis. He's only got half an inch sticking out from under his gun. <laughs> I just have to sort of rub the tip of it. It's not the size of the hammer. Uh huh. No, it's not the size of the nail. It's the size of the hammer. Smashing your bum in. Why are you taking tools? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the size of the nail. It's the hammer smashing your bum in. Yep. Beautiful. You're Beautiful welcome. words. Yeah. Maybe just say that to me over dinner. You know <laughs> You'll be done. Hey, Rob. Yeah. Want to go for swimming lessons? <laughs> I know a guy. Yeah, to be honest, uh, the problem with this lovely question is I'd want it to be as unromantic as possible. To be honest, I'd like to turn up immediately as the bumming's about to start, yeah. get it done. In I think I'm in the sex much, dungeon. I don't, I, I don't need an audience. So so this, this next one's much better. Would you drink horse cum to earn its cash value? If unsure of amount, Google. Like, we're like, oh, yes, the value of horse cum. Yeah. So how much is horse cum worth? Well, it depends on the horse, doesn't it? What's that horse that's winning everything at the moment, like, that just can't be fucking beat? Uh, Freddie's mum? Yeah, it's your mum. That's... So there is a, there's there's one race horse that's like fucking ridiculous. There's several. Yeah. Anyway, the, there's, there's one several that, there's... race horses. So the one that you might have thought about over uh, Cheltenham just gone as Constitutional Hill. That's the one I'm thinking. Uh, of. But there's also like, for example, I guess the best race horse in the last ten years that you would go to would be Frankel. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But this yeah, one yeah. is the most expensive ever, and a gallon was what four point seven million dollars. Yeah, but a gallon. What Do you know how hard it is to drink a gallon of anything? I tried to drink a gallon of milk once for a charity thing, and it just, I puked All so right, How many much. pints in a gallon? Eight. Eight, right? So it's, it's about 600 grand then. Yeah. Per, pi- Six, per, per pint? Per pint. 600 grand for a pint. I could drink eight pints of something. No, you can't. Not in one go. Honestly. Oh, not, not in one gulp. No, but like no. over an evening. Mm. Over an evening Over... of horse cum drinking. If I'm making four point seven million dollars, I'll make a couple of evenings. Yeah, You've got yeah. to keep it down, though. That's the thing. I think it's whatever you keep in you is the is the value. You can't can just you, drink it and puke. Can it straight you? Away. Can you? Can you add to the horse cum? What with more cum? No, you're only allowed to add cum. No, like that's flavorings. the rule. No, yeah, the flavorings can be other types of cum. <laughs> those are the only flavors you're allowed. Oh, so you're thinking of like a cum shandy? Well, no, I was thinking a cum top. <laughs> I was thinking more about like um, some like chocolate sprinkles on top. Of course you were. Yeah. Just sort of Putting like a flake in it. <laughs> well, yeah. Fact. How are you making drinking horse come fat? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way we could um, wrap this horse come in sausage meat and breadcrumbs? <laughs> Can we make this more unhealthy? Can we have deep fried no, but, cum? No, but the problem is, is that... If it's you... horse cum, that's it's the not... problem. No, no, I want to hear what <laughs> Freddie thinks the problem is. <laughs> if, the problem, if the problem is that it's going to taste of cum. <laughs> By God, he's cracked it. So... I hadn't thought of that. So... Oh, to... Yeah, no, he is right, isn't he? Because mm. I was only focusing on the eight gallons. I didn't think about the fact that it's cum. <laughs> So listen, listen. What is happening today? What is wrong with you two, honestly? <laughs> to be fair, right? Right? 
Do you know what horse cum tastes like? Not great. <laughs> it might be good. I've seen them drink it on Jackass. They didn't look happy. <laughs> no. Yeah. And they're I've playing up to the cameras, aren't they? On there. Nom nom nom. So, nom nom nom. Do you think it's going to be nice? I don't think Do you think, think any gonna be, cum's going to be nice? I don't think nice. it's going to be nice, but I bet it's not as bad as you'd think. I'm going to go with uh, four pints of horse cum. You think you could drink four pints of horse cum? For two and a bit million quid. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Honest, Nearly two and a half million pounds. Yeah. Absolutely, I could. In fact, I might. If someone even... just told you it was the filling from a cream egg, you'd do it for free. In fact, in fact, I might push myself for five pints to see if I could get three mil. Yeah. It's yeah. it's just it's I'd so... keep going until I felt sick. And I reckon I reckon <laughs> that'd I could be do like half that. a sip. You've got to keep it down though, that's the problem. If I you puke any of it, I think I think you have to put the rule. Close in. peg. If you puke close you peg lose on it. your nose and a big straw. It's the texture. You know what? You I can't drink that. I just drink it. You can't drink a fucking milkshake because yeah. of the texture. You don't yeah. eat beans. Do you think <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You can't have baked beans because of the texture. If you you think me... horse cum is sliding down easy. Well, it's sliding down. Yeah. Uh but here's the thing. It's also going to be a bit lumpy, a bit congealed. If you give me... If... It's not one jizz as well, a gallon. Yeah. A gallon is going to be a lot of pumps, so it's all going to be all different ages. And... Do you reckon you could get an STI from it? I, I imagine it could do something to you. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. I, I reckon I'd keep going until I felt queasy, and I reckon that's at least four pints, a minimum. Do you reckon it would make you faster? Minimum four pints before... So, I could drink four pints of four anything. Four pints before you feel queasy. I could drink, like, eight pints of lager. All right, lager. Four, you can drink four pints of anything. Liquid fentanyl. All right, not poisonous things. But horse cum isn't poisonous, as far as I'm aware. Okay, what about liquid shit? Yeah. Uh, yeah four probably, pints yeah, of liquid shit. Four pints of liquid shit you can But I know that. that's going to taste really bad. Horse cum oh, won't yeah, taste um, that bad. It's not going to taste as bad as shit. All right, okay, so here's a question. If you don't know if horse cum is going to taste bad, why haven't you tried any yet? Because no, I've never had the opportunity. All right, okay. Well, we, <laughs> well, we're near horses. To be honest, we actually do. Could do we go into a horse field after this? So, so why, don't you, what, what, why don't you try some horse cum? If you wank a horse off, I'll do, I'll do some horse cum. Legitimately? Well, if you pay me 600 grand per go. Oh, right, there we go. It's all about yeah. money with him. Isn't well, it is about the question. <laughs> Just do it for the love, man. Yeah. But I don't love Where's it. Where's the passion? Where's but your heart? whole thing is but that like, it, I could, I could. There's loads of things I could drink all your, the time. I don't. Your whole thing is that it might taste nice. Yeah, it might. So, so why do you? What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I don't think it would taste as bad as six hundred grand is good. Oh, I agree. Yeah, but that doesn't <coughs> mean you can drink four pints of it without feeling queasy. It, I, I could have four pints without, without feeling sick. This is insane. All right, four pints of double cream. Do you think you could drink that without feeling sick? Uh, maybe four pints of melted lard. Could you drink that without feeling sick? I don't know. I've never had it. Sounds horrible though. I don't think I, th I don't think horse cum would taste as bad as you think. I think it tastes pretty bad. Yeah, it would taste bad, but I don't think it'd be like oh, I'm gonna die. It's just people being mad at it. You think people are over-egging how bad people horse cum is? People drink, people drink human cum all the time. <laughs> how different can it, it be? Not drink, They don't drink four pints of human cum. Yeah. If you drink four pints of human cum, you've had an evening. <laughs> really? That's how you describe it? Yeah. yeah. How, how's your evening been? Fucking oh, don't ask. I've had one. Would you rather drink four pints of human cum or four pints of horse cum? Human cum? Probably human, yeah. yeah probably. There's no probably about it. What do you mean? Would you rather drink the cum of the same species or a different one? Bit cannibalistic. Well, I don't know. All right, Let would you rather eat a steak of a human or a steak of a cow? A cow, innit? Same thing. I'd go with human. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like, finally, a chance. Yeah. Yeah. I would not have anything against eating. What if the steak's covered in uh, a peppercorn sauce, but it's made with cum? Peppercorn sauce? Peppercorn sauce. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't have anything against eating people, like, yeah. per se. I would like, definitely wouldn't. If it was somebody who had died of natural causes, mm -hmm. and they were like, I don't care what you do with my body, and, a really, and you'd finished fucking it. And a really, thank you, and a really good chef was like, I've made, yeah, you know, I've, I've really gone. Gordon Ramsay's like, oh, fuck it out. What the fuck you done here? You got a fucking corpse in the kitchen. Fine, let's fucking make it nice. I don't think I'd be against it. I wouldn't, if it was ethical, I wouldn't, I, I'd be all right. And <laughs> if it's ethical, he's doing a lot of heavy lifting there. Well, I think we spoke about it before, but there was that guy went there that had his foot amputated yeah, and him and his mates had their foot. Did. Yeah, it can also cause loads of like wild like disease. That would be my worry is that it was too good. Well, well, it's not it that it's too good. It causes like incredible like fucked up diseases that we've not had in humans for a long time. Yeah, but, but my worry would be 
what if it tasted so good that I wanted to keep eating it and then yeah. I got all those sorts of diseases? Yeah. Like smoking. Yeah. Maybe just don't eat people then. Maybe just stick to drinking pint after pint of cum <laughs> without batting an eyelid. What a boast from you today. I could drink four pints of cum easily. It's your boast. It's what you were proud of. I'm not boasting. Not, I'm not just... even bothered about it. I can drink four pints of cum. Bring four pints of cum right now. I'll smash them down. Have you uh, sent in any videos? I have, yeah. If you have a look at the emails. Have a look at some the videos. first one, someone drinking four pints of cum. No. Oh, no, that's Acast. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's the one that's called Vids. Let's have a look at Slide first. Uh, it's a little fun one. There's someone on, uh, on a water slide. Um, I went on one of these recently when I was out in Australia. Sorry, you couldn't be there. Um, you were sorry. I st- uh, Australia was in Perth. Never went to Adventureland. It. It's half water park, half theme park. It's and 100% fun. Uh, this isn't there, though. This is a different thing. So we're going down a dry dish. Oh, you are! Oh! Oh, you stupid. Oh, you're right, bro. You're right. Stupid cousin. Oh, it's always you. Get some footage. It's always you. And he goes, We've got some footage. That's so stupid. Mate. Yeah. So they go down a water slide that has been decommissioned into no water and fly across the dry pool into the steps. And one of them has a fucked up seizure. So, so I. Um, uh, when I was like 15 or whatever, went to Disney World, Disneyland, Disney, whatever, right? And they have uh-huh. water parks over there. Right. You and I went to a tube. To, uh, I went to <laughs> one, t- Typhoon. Typhoon Lagoon? Yeah, I think so, yeah, or something good. like that. And it has a big, uh, it has a big slide like that. And they say, like, oh, make sure you cross your arms mm-hmm. and make sure that you cross your legs. And For luck. <laughs> For luck. Did you have to go, I can't cross my legs, I'm afraid? It's too much flab. Um, and I, I went down and I kind of flew up in the air and I instinctively moved my arms out yeah. because you kind of do if you go yeah. up in the air. And they've not and calibrated it for cons this size. I, I and, and I moved slightly and I scraped my back on some of the side of the, like there were rocks at the side. They weren't real rocks, yeah. but they were like, uh, you know, fake Disney rocks. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. scraped my back on some of it and it was fucking agony. Like it was, it felt, it felt like my my skin had been pulled off. It was so, because you're going so fast yeah, yeah. and it's so sort of yeah, friction yeah. jagged. Yeah. It fucking kills. So that would have been absolute fucking torture. My well, question like, for these guys is, why have they got swimming shorts on and no gloves? I think just, you know, selling the bit. <laughs> um, but like, if you, like, he does have, uh, he gets really fucked up. I found this on, um, shout out again, my favorite subreddit, uh, Suddenly Elton John. Uh, suddenly out you found this on suddenly out and john suddenly out and john because what it is is it's people who have injuries that are so bad they end up playing piano in the air like this <laughs> so is he playing piano at any point <laughs> yeah like, look like look watch watch he, he has a bit of one so watch from the yeah it's watching from the start it's rewind it so he got they, they're on this side we oh, 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 it yeah. seems to me <laughs> that you lived your life oh, you're right, like bro, a you're candle right. in Honestly, I think that that person deserves to die. Yeah, look, you can't yeah. feel much sympathy. They've, they've gone for yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a dangerous thing and it's gone badly. And know? what was the best thing that could have happened there? Well, they get a bit fucked up and they have a fun video. You yeah. know, it's what they're trying for. Fast Don't and try Furious. that at home. Yeah, yeah, we've got a series here. Uh, Fast and Furious is a fun little... These are just things I've found on Reddit in the week. Um... Here we go. Oh, there's a fire. Oh. I'm worried about playing this one. Yeah. We've been burnt before. Yeah. I didn't even mean Worst that. Worst case scenario gets edited out. Here we go. So they, they deliberately light fire on the floor to try and make it look cool while someone's doing skids and they get a man. Oh, oh. my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you should go for a, oh, fuck, as your reaction to that. That's like, oh, fuck. So so what they've done is like they've tried to, like, so they've, it's like a car event where they're on a car park and they're, like, doing drifts and stuff. And someone's put petrol on the floor, so they sort of drift through it and it goes on the tyres a bit and looks all cool and burning. But he's done it through a line of people and just set, like, six people on fire in one and one guy exceptionally on fire. Real on fire. And to fire. be fair, when he stopped and dropped, everyone went to put him out, like, I wouldn't. 
If someone was literally on fire in front of you, you wouldn't go, oh, I'd best slap them a bit no, with my tiny hands. Hurt my hands, wouldn't it? Hurt your tiny yeah, little it's hands. quite dangerous helping someone on fire. Yeah. yeah. I'd, 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 All you'd have to do is fall over and they'd be out. I'd probably you'd just, just smother them. I'd probably just try and kick them and roll them like a barrel at a pub. Right. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. It's not really my problem, is it? <laughs> Yeah, sometimes things aren't directly your problem, but it's, you know, nice to help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, we've also got a uh, a second part of my Fast and Furious series. Okay. Um, this one is even more high octane. Is this, oh, is this the after effects of this book? No, it's not. It's an entirely separate video. I was going to say, I was looking forward to seeing someone with worse skin than you. Whee! Whee! Your skin's better, actually, but it's getting it worse again, isn't Yeah, it's it? degenerating since we've been back from Australia. I know. I'm I can very watch happy myself get l- less healthy. <laughs> it's very, fucking brutal. I'm very pleased about it. I know. I've, I was so healthy and happy for a couple of months. Do you think it's being just... back in England or just being near Freddie? It's a bit of both. A bit of both. <laughs> It's just starting to go. It's. I'm telling you now, we're a month away from him back in hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what this is? This is. Oh, this is someone ramming a car dealership. No, it's not a car dealership. It's just a car park in America. Oh. It's just a mental woman who has crashed a car by accident and is now trying to escape and is doing so badly. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, these people aren't helping, are they? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. (laughs) She does so many cars. Do you know what? Pause it a sec. (laughs) She just did another one. Pause it. That one in the white that she's just done. They're watching that and thinking, well, I'm safe back here. Watch it. If you rewind that, you can hear someone go, ah, fuck my car. Stop. Oh my lord. Did you hear someone in the back? Yeah. My car. Oh, another one. I think that's like six cars. Six different. How is she doing so bad at escaping? She's got to be off her tits. I think at this point you're well in for a penny. Oh my god, again. What the fuck? <laughs> Fair question. And then she tries to flee on foot. Doesn't go great. Oh, she's, hit, she's knocked someone over there. Uh, yeah. She's knocked someone over. Yeah, look over here. No, oh. they've got to, that's her. They get that, they've got her on the ground. Right. What on earth? Wild, ain't it? Let's have a look at her. I want to see her. You can't really see her, unfortunately. It sort of cuts off. This is like, you know when you're playing Grand Theft Auto yeah. and you've lost the level and you're like, ah, fuck, fuck it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Like I had it once where like I uh, I wasn't like a drunk driver when I drank like I did like twice uh, but like once I got in my car and I tried to pull away and I did something similar to that where I just sort of went like, and I went <laughs> I was like you know even drunk me was like you've got to hang this up yeah, yeah you know yeah. Like, I drink drive all the time but um, okay I do it hungover most of the time right I, I yeah, kind yeah. of forget so I wouldn't get into a car having drunk like a bottle of wine and then just go and drive because that's sometimes you'd have a two hour sleep and then do it there you go yeah. so what I do is I sleep it off and then I forget that the alcohol's still in the system and shit like that yeah I think I've probably done that but yeah not on purpose by mistake yeah yeah you do it by mistake don't you because yeah. you go oh I went to sleep at half ten pissed it's fine but then you drank so many units that at eight o'clock the next day you're still yeah, you know yeah, yeah. it's a fucker isn't it yeah it. mad that though isn't it yeah, well, I just yeah. proper enjoyed it it was really fun <sighs> It's like she does so many cars. There's so many opportunities for it to be less bad than it is. And just every decision she makes just makes it worse worse. and worse and worse. What do you reckon her punishment would be for that? She'd got to go to jail, right? Depend. I think it depends on previous and stuff, and like what's happened. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Let's are, imagine. Let's all right. Let's pretend. And that she also, was sober. let's be real. Depends on her ethnicity. Yeah, in America. Oh, massively. Certainly in America. Yeah. If that's a if that's a seventeen year old white girl, she she walked out the station put, that day. Put it this way: if you look like there could be a doll of you in a pub, <laughs> you're going down. What? Barbies are dolls. Just gonna let that hang there. It's all right. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah, don't let it hang anyway. <laughs> no, I mean like you get what I'm saying. I'm not I get what you're flipping. saying. Um, yeah, no, I agree. I think it is. I think you've got to be looking at prison, unless you mm. are very clever about your defence. Yeah. You can maybe say that you <laughs> overdosed on your ADHD medication that exactly, yeah, led yeah. to OCD of crashing into cars. Yeah, at high I just volume. got obsessed with crashing into cars. I was trying to protect everyone from yeah. a wasp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what, you were trying right, to run over right, the wasp? Right, right, Here's a question. How many wasps in that car before that could be a legal defence? I think if there's a wasp hive in there, you might get away with <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, I mean there's a wasp outside the car. Yeah, I know, I know what you meant, Tom. <laughs> I know what many, you meant. Have you seen that bit, the, the, there's that uh, Rowan Atkinson thing where he's like, well, man versus bee, right? Sure. Maybe it's just that. So he's doing a that woman's doing a mime sketch. Is no, what she's you're trying saying. to kill a real bee. Is it children in fucking need. There's a bee trying to get everyone. Right, yeah. and she thinks the best way to deal with that is by singular car. killer bee. Yeah, yeah. Was well, he got a knife or something? This bee. <laughs> I wasn't planning on killing people. No. You sting don't him. Know. Sting him. <laughs> One bee sting. <laughs> Fingers crossed they're allergic. <laughs> So I, I will use my car to repeatedly try and ram this bee. Yeah. I think it's a BMW. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you like this? I don't know. I just woke up in a silly mood today. I thought it was a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Mercedes, is that where you're going for, is it? Uh, I thought it was a beer Bicanto. <laughs> Fuck off. A like, bee at 500? How many more do you want? Look, 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 like, a, look like an owl bee. <laughs> uh, it was a wasp ball nova. Shut up, Rob. <laughs> it's a Mustang. <laughs> Mustang. A Jeep Grand Cherokee bee. Is it a, a honeydew civic? Oh my god, this is so stupid. This podcast has been all over today. Please let's make this a Patreon. Like, who's this even for? Who enjoys silly puns <laughs> and all the racist shit? I want racism, transphobia, and bee puns and swimming lessons. We've got your covers. Well, we've had a big spike in numbers recently, but I think that's going to go down. Yeah, it's time to edit the audience back down. Let's <laughs> file some edges off. Yeah, let's lose some folk along the way. Oh, my God. And speaking of losing some folk, uh, we'll be on tour soon. What do you mean? What What, what do you mean losing some folk? We're going to kill people. I left, left people during my preview. Oh, yeah, full See, circle. See, I tried to make it full circle so we could end. Right, but you made it just sort of like full oval, didn't you? It didn't really work. Okay. I don't think we've ever made it full circle so we could end. We just end when you decide we end. Yeah. You just feels, get bored and I mean, leave. It feels like but Yeah, we are on point. tour soon. Buy tickets for that, please. <laughs> There we go. Is that done? Yeah, that's done. Uh, I'm I'm doing a show in my hometown, Nairsborough. Shut up. First. There we go. Come to that. <laughs> Get fucked. How many? How many? How many tickets have you sold? I haven't checked. Have you not? No. I've bought them all. That's nice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just me. I'm like I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna go home and refund you your one ticket <laughs> and keep all the rest. <laughs> Yeah, I've not thought this through. It cost thousands. <laughs> yeah, it cost quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah literally uh, thirteen hundred quid to buy all the tickets. Yeah. Used it from the demon talking accounts. It's fine. Right. Okay. Mm. Still, still forty percent. <laughs> still a good deal for Rob. Yeah, I'm still doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, rats! <laughs> Freddie's giving me loads of money. What a prick! <laughs> To be fair, it's the first time you got money out of that account. Know, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it's my only chance of making anything. Let's fucking oh, go. my God. Uh, right, well, thank you for listening. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, if, if this isn't a Patreon episode, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. this is what we normally do on Patreon. So uh, it's out up there, £3 a month, patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. Uh, please buy the products and services of our sponsors if we have any. Uh, Other than that, we'll see you next week. Go fuck yourselves. Right.